Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message from our Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So cross watcher, if you are in here and you're dealing with a Virgo, feel free to flip the roles, okay? So what is the energy for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign? Thank you, Spirit. An Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Justice. We have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. And we have the High Priestess. Okay. Hmm. I'm hearing something about a secret. Um. Okay, give me a card. What is this? A fool. Aries and Aquarius energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Show me more. Now, the High Priestess usually talks about things hidden. Um, it can talk about someone who is very intuitive. What is this energy? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo is dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. And for going forward. Thank you. So you have, it says discover your life purpose. So is someone here a psychic here, a medium, something like that with the high priestess energy? It's usually that energy of she who knows, right? The high priestess holds the book of secrets. So maybe some of my Virgos, maybe this is an air sign that feels like you can see right through them. Um... It's giving, I don't know if for some of you, if you dealt with an air sign that had you as a mistress, okay? Because even though we have this man here playing the violin and you have a woman here, I don't know if you can see in the background, there's actually another figure of a woman here and there's actually another figure of a woman here. But this man's face looks so serious and it almost like him playing this violin. It's almost like him drawing people in. It's making me think of the magician card. Someone who knows how to manipulate a situation. It makes me think, do you know what it makes me think of? I don't know if you guys know. Is it the Lynx advert? I think it's the Lynx advert. Um, I don't even know if you see it anymore, but when the guy in, it was like a real skinny, scrawny guy, right? Like real nerdy, yeah. But he would spray on the links and then all the girls would come rushing to him. <laughs> like, it's making me think of something like that. What is going forward? Thank you, spirit. Oh, it was in the reverse. So this could be an air sign that is going through some sort of... Um, karma maybe they're being served some sort of justice by the universe here because in the upright it says help from the above but it was in the reverse and it's going to go underneath the justice card so maybe this is someone who doesn't have any spiritual protection what is this spirit virgo's dealing with an air sign aquarius libra or a gemini thank you show me What is the High Priestess and discover your life purpose? So 
Seven of Cups out here again. Okay, that came out for Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign. Show me more about this Seven of Cups. Why is this energy here? Thank you, Spirit. Three of Wands. Now, this is what I was saying here for some of you, okay? Because the Three of Wands can talk about um, seeing the bigger picture of a situation here. It can talk about waiting for your ships to come in as well. Now, for some of you, it is still giving me this energy where this may be someone who is confused that how do you see straight through them? The Seven of Cups can also talk about an illusion here. So let's see what comes out with it. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Because this may have been someone who was waiting for you to come towards them. What is the Seven of Cups? Nine of Swords in the reverse. So is this someone who's... <laughs> is this someone who is confused because you ain't stressing or, or having anxiety over them? So is this someone that expected you to chase them? What is the three of wands? Queen of cups. So there's that very intuitive energy. Queen of cups is usually someone who's very loving, caring, nurturing. But show me more. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Why is the seven of cups here with the nine of swords in the reverse? We have the King of Cups and the Six of Cups turning over. And that makes the Seven of Cups again. Why is the Six of Cups and the King of Cups here? The Four of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Cups here? Seven of Swords. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is this past energy here, Spirit? The Ace of Cups in the reverse, damn. So it's given the energy of, yeah, I don't know, some of you left this person out in the cold here, but this is given the same kind of energy from the fire sign. Someone here who has some sort of emotions for you, but they're not expressing themselves. And it feels like, because you've already walked away. For some of you, I'm getting this energy where this person may have walked away first here. And again, you know, it's that kind of an energy where, you know, every action causes a reaction. But maybe you didn't give the reaction that they were expecting. What is the three of wands and this queen of cups? We have the hanged man and the king of swords are fighting to come out here. <laughs> so this person, they may be feeling stuck here. They may be at a distance from you. Or they're just seeing the bigger picture of this situation. Maybe this is someone who is realizing that maybe they should have vibrated from a more of a heart space. Than this kind of cold energy. King of Swords. For some of you there's definitely no communication here. Give me one on this King of Swords and the Hanged Man. Damn the King of Pentacles. I, I don't know why the energy is kind of feeling like it's repeating. Because in the fire signs there was three kings as well. What is this justice and help from above in the reverse? Coming out sideways is a six of pentacles. So this person may be experiencing some sort of blockages when it comes to finances here or some sort of blockages when it comes to some sort of clientele or some deal was a bad deal here. You know, the six of pentacles can talk about giving and receiving.
All right, this is going to sound a little bit crazy, okay? But for some of you, I don't know why I'm getting this energy, Virgos, where I don't know if you have Libra in your chart here. I don't know if you was the help from above. Maybe some of you carry this energy where you serve instant karma for people, right? Depending on the energy that they give to you. It's almost like a mirror effect. What is the Six of Pentacles? The Tower. Hmm. What is that divine intervention? Something here is crumbling for this air sign. And it feels like it's justice being served. But like I said, no protection from above. Show me more. Six of Coins. You have the devil. Mm. Always makes me feel like someone made a deal with the devil. Someone here could have paid someone or maybe they were paid to keep somebody bound or stuck here. What is a tower? Six of Wands. Six of Wands talks about success and victory here. Maybe someone here thought they was going to be successful at something. Maybe this is someone who was trying to attack some sort of success um, that you are having. For some of you, if you don't have a business or something like that, this could just be someone who wanted to kind of stop you moving forward and having new beginnings when it comes to love and passion and things like that. Because I was looking at the devil card here. And you, when you look at the woman who's kind of bound here, you know, she is naked. What is the six of coins and the devil? My Virgos are dealing with an air sign. Thank you, spirit. Queen of Pentacles. What is the Queen of Pentacles? Yes, look at this. This is weird as hell. <laughs> They're coming out in the same order that it came out in the fire sign. So I don't know if there is a fire sign um, involved in this situation. I don't know if someone here has fire in their chart, highly aspected. But the Eight of Coins and the Knight of Coins. Someone here wanted to slow down the Ten of Coins energy for you. What is the Tower and the Six of Wands? The Two of Coins. The Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers. Gemini energy. Virgos, I don't know if this is someone who was maybe coming against you here, right? For the Two of Coins could just be, could be saying to me that this is someone who was juggling you, right? This could be saying to me that someone here may be upset that you chose to be single when they wanted to keep you in this cycle. Hmm. Clarify the tower and the six of wands for me again. The seven of pentacles and the ace of swords. That was their plan. That is the truth. Hmm. Okay. Anything that my Virgos need to be aware of in this situation. Thank you, Spirit. You have time for Spirit. Look at that lotus flower. 
So some of you, you're in your divine purpose here. This also talks about healing. We have the Wihihi card, which is the black magic card here. Trickery, manipulation. And then we have, damn, voodoo in blue, it says back off. So this is someone who is doing heavy spell work on you guys. I told you before about this card, it felt like the magician. Give me some cards for this situation, thank you. But it looks like you're very much protected here, Virgos. Virgos dealing with an air sign. You have the Venus Alpha. You have messages and dreams. Show me more. And that messages and dreams is hitting that black magic energy. For some of you, this may be someone who can manipulate um, your dream space or things like that. Maybe some of you got some sort of downloads about maybe what this person was doing for some of you. Show me more. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. You have change and courage. <laughs> yeah. For some of you, this is someone who can't believe that you walked away. That you had the confidence to do that. I, I don't know why I'm getting... I'm seeing this Six of Cups and this King of Cups, okay? And the Six of Cups to me, or even the Seven of Cups, can talk about that very dreamy energy, right? The Six of Cups can talk about nostalgia here. I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with someone who may be very good at creating illusions, creating confusion. And maybe they used emotions or intimacy to do that. I'm happy to see the Nine of Swords in the reverse here. Now, the Nine of Swords is also giving me this energy of someone here walking around, this air sign maybe walking around pretending that there isn't any issues or problems here. I want to see what it says. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Just for my own curiosity. Yeah, Nine of Swords in the reverse. It says light at the end of the tunnel. It says recovering, improving. It says letting go of negativity and stress. Some of you walked away. Okay, this situation ain't going to work out for me. Okay, well then, you know what? I'm going to take my time and I'm going to move forward. You have reunion and soul ties in the reverse. So for some of you, this may have been a soulmate here. This may have been some sort of a karmic soulmate. But for some of you, there's definitely no reunion here with it coming in the reverse. And I feel like the universe is also, it's also because the universe isn't supporting this anymore. So again, show me more. I'm not quite sure what this person did with all this darkness. Damn, okay. Coming in the reverse, guys. Twin flames. A false twin. Show me more. You have trust divine time. Okay. You got distance, retreat, or time out. You have sun strength and empowerment. Yeah, and that's going to sit underneath change and courage here. Some of you, this person didn't realize how strong. I heard that they didn't know what you was made of. <laughs> Virgos, I'm hearing they thought that you was... Sh what is it? I'm hearing... Let me get it. Hold on. They thought you were sugar and spice and all things nice. <laughs> okay. 
All right, give me two more cards. I thought they had this cat in the bag. <laughs> I don't know why they're relating that to something sexual. Um, okay, so you got contracts, career and commitments. You got comfort zone, self node and clinging. Yeah, I feel like this person wanted you to be very attached or codependent on them here. But this contracts, career and commitments. I don't know, maybe you had a contract with this person in the universe with it attached to um divine time. But then, like I said, the soul tie and the reunion is in the reverse here. This feels like a missed opportunity and then you have the masculine energy. Can I get one on the contracts, career and commitments? Chemistry. We're right between the Venus offer. I don't know if this person was trying to put some sort of love spell on you. What are the lessons here, Spirit? Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So I am seeing worry. It says I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And maybe that's why the Nine of Swords is in the reverse. My Virgo's going to stick around to worry about this situation. You accepted it for what it was. You have judgment. It says I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And I feel like for some of you, it does feel like this person tried to get you off your path here, okay? Or maybe came in as some sort of distraction or temptation here. But it looks like for some of my Virgos, you stayed on this path here. Right? Discover your life purpose. Or maybe this is someone who's realizing what your life purpose is and why you walked away. You have failure. It says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So, yes, yeah, that energy of love is the highest vibration of all. Did we have the Queen of Cups? Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups out here. And we have the King of Cups. But where is some of my Virgos, maybe where you was more open and upfront, right? And you was giving that very loving and nurturing and caring energy. This is someone who kept their feelings to themselves. Or was very confused about how they feel. You have service. I feel good when I can help others. And then you have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Oh, see how that just slipped through my fingers? Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you just slipped through this person's fingers. Interesting. Give me some cards for this situation. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Anything else? So we have signs and clues. It says the universe is talking to you. High priestess energy. It says unexpected connection. It says opposites attract. You have bonding. It says as you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. You have rekindle. An old flame returns. Virgo's dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini.
Just one card? <laughs> Virgo's, oh dear, okay. <laughs> one card, I'm sure there's more spirit. Virgo said, no, I switch my feelings off. But let's see. Here we go. All right. You ghost this person, Virgos. You just turn real cold. So you have looked deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. King of Cups. <laughs> you have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So again, I feel like some of you have just turned your back and, and you're just on some sort of a new journey, new path, right? And it looks like this person is finding it difficult to let go. It says forgiveness. It says stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. And for some of you, you may choose to give this person another chance, right? Maybe if they speak their truth or... I don't know. Do things the right way. You have reflection. It says give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. You have. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. I'm sorry, Virgo. I just hearing the most random things. There's a lot of um, I don't know. It feels like a lot of sexual energy here. I just saw a squirrel running across the roof out there um, on my shed, and the first thing I heard was he needs some nuts. <laughs> so I don't know. You have closed your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. <laughs> you have time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. So let's see what this black magic energy was about. Voodoo back off. Thank you. I'm hearing that bit from that song. Um, gosh, I can't remember her name. But um, you know the song, I Put a Spell on You? And I'm hearing the bit when she says, Because you're mine. <laughs> okay, possession. <laughs> All right, anything else? Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Why is that black magic energy here? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, anything else from this deck? Ooh, it's a lot coming out here. Top of the deck, we have my mama don't like you. Tell mama we don't care. <laughs> I'm joking. We have you are not the father. It says, I know I'm toxic. I envy your partner. It says Virgo. We have fake pregnancy. Snakes in the grass. You need a walker. It says congratulations Virgo. You passed the test. It says I'm in love with everything you do. It says what you're selling. I'm not buying. It's over. You have the energy of Aquarius. You have have no fear. Archangel Michael is here. It says uh oh. You have Gemini. You have jail time. You have I can't find the words to say to you. It says, be my little secret, I won't tell. It says, a child will be born, destiny. Please reconsider us, please. You have the energy of Pisces. You have a blue car. Sing with me. You have Capricorn energy. It says, I'm looking for a sign, send me one. You're the one I've been looking for. You have, you are protected by your grandpa. It says, I'm married, I wanted to tell you, third party. You have the energy of cancer. It says, I hate that you're happy without me. I want to pull up on you. 
marry me. It says your goons are on a mission. It says look out. It says I'm walking away, Craig David. It says please unblock me, I'm hurting. We have I'm into the same sex. It says shush. I don't know, but we do have a lot of kings out here. I ain't even gonna lie. You have Libra. You have Aries. You have, you know my every thought how. And I think I said that at the beginning. You have Taurus. My Virgos are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. You have pay attention to the moon cycles. You have money for sex. You have air sign thief. You have someone is creating confusion spells. Sex addiction. You have a water sign is toxic. You have trying to enter your dreams. What did I say? <laughs> you have... Feed the strays, it says, for, protect, for protection. So if you have stray animals around you, you know, birds, things like that, you know, feed them if you can. If you can't, obviously. You have, remember who you are, it says, divine. One more shuffle. It's too many, spirit. Virgo's dealing with an, okay. Yeah, it says sick animal, vets. It says £500 in the next 24 hours. It says there's a snake around. It says red lipstick. And it says karma, quick return, times 10. And I said that. For some of you, you are the walking karma. So what is the advice in this situation? It's just advice. Take it, leave it. Not for everyone. There goes dealing with an air sign. So your advice is awareness. Feel like I want to get one more. Give me one for this awareness. But like I said, for some of us, I don't know if you already know this with this high priestess energy. Awareness and contemplation is your advice. So Virgos, that is what I have for you if you're dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. So guys, if anything in this reading did resonate with you, do hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.